Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rehana and today's a special day because we're finally going on holiday so i got my pcr test done and i'm ready to go i'm just popping to boots right now and i'm gonna get the n95 masks and get straight to the airport hey guys and today i want to share my experience with you whilst traveling to an amazon country so I wanted to disclaim first that I am not a travel agent nor am I an expertise in this kind of um, travel information. However, I want to share with you guys my experience and bring you guys along with me. So the first thing I did is I was searching up to see if there's a clear set of rules that we must follow in order to leave the country. Um, because obviously the lockdown has eased on the 15th. Yeah, so we were allowed to leave the country. So the first thing I done obviously was to search up what zone the country of destination I was travelling to is in and mine was in Amber. Amber you mustn't travel to unless you've got something to do, an emergency or you got a reason to go there, Not it's not like a holiday destination. There's a set of rules that you must follow, however when I was researching it was a little bit unclear on what is accepted and what we can use, what especially since obviously lockdown has eased, everyone is trying to open the business in sense of seeing like test centres and whatnot. And I was a bit iffy booking appointments for the tests and the requirements of uh, leaving the country, you need to book a PCR test and the PCR test is valid depending on the country of destination. So for example, the country that I'm going to is Morocco and Morocco um PCR test is only valid for 48 hours whereas in contrast in England it's valid for 72 hours and um, yeah so you have to make sure you keep that in mind so if you're not vaccinated you need to get a PCR test to leave the country you also need to fill in a locator form and the locator form gives information of where you're going to be staying what you're going to be doing what's your ID number your passport number all the contact information that they would need in case anything goes left so it's easy quite easy to leave the country i'll show you guys the pcr test centers that i used um however there is a list on the government website and if you go on a government website you'll be able to find and research lists that are valid and accepted within the laws because obviously there are some spots that are doing it how do i say it without illegal they're doing illegal test kind of situations um for a cheaper price and everything like that and you got to be careful because they are on top of this and you must follow the rules and be a law-abiding citizen child <laughs> anyways so to leave the country is quite easy so all you need is a pcr test if you don't have a vaccination um if you are vaccinated you just need proof of vaccination you can leave the country the destination will take the pcr test and keep it with them however when coming back it's not as easy you have to do a locator form to fill it in with the government and you have to put in all the information your flight number so you need to have a return ticket you can't fly one way passport number your address where you're going to be staying and then you're also going to need a pcr test to get onto the plane to go to england this one will be valid for 72 hours and um the first thing they ask for at the airport is the pcr test so make sure you have that alongside with the locator form and the locator form would not be able to be completed unless you book the appointments that are required of you are given two options um not really two options the first option is you need to book your two and eight day test for coming back to the country or you're not allowed in and they ask at the border control to make sure you've got it done so that's one case so you have to quarantine for 10 days and you have to book your two and eight day test and have to complete the tests and they'll call you up every day to make sure that you've done it and also you're gonna you have another option you can take a five day test and a five day test is like a test to release situation so you don't have to complete the 10 day quarantine and that is additional to the two and eight day test like you can't just book the day two test and then book the day five one because you're still gonna have to complete the day eight one however you are going to be allowed to go out freely including me and my mom with my dad everything was a little bit pricey so i feel like traveling has been made a little bit difficult i'll give you guys the price it was like 700 800 pounds for the tests alone like minus the flight costs and hopefully this does change in a foreseen future and everything gets better and 
everything eases as a whole. Everything has been getting difficult. To do simple things that was quite normal for us um, in the past has become such a mission, but it's okay guys. Um, we have to do what we need to do in order to remain safe and keep everyone safe around us. So right now we're just going to meet our family members and I don't know if they want to be in camera so I'm not going to upload it. But then we went to a cafe in Tanji called Paranama. It has the seafront view and the view is usually best in the morning. We love having breakfast there. But come along with me. So we're at our first uh, street food-ish barbecue area and this is what we get for starters. So we get fish soup and um, the paella. It has like all the fishes like squid and uh, clams and whatnot. With nice and fresh olives. That's how you know we're in Morocco. Oh, yeah, Lol, they give me fish soup and then one little corn inside. <laughs> And obviously, we have to get three. But I'll tell you, uh, chips, Moroccan chips are the best. baby cods and then with calamari and um, gambas so prawns 
Don't touch me with your dirty hands, sis. Hey, girl. Oh, chicken wings. And then we went and got ice cream i got pistachio and nutella i'm afraid it didn't taste like pistachio nor nutella and my mom got citron citron is a really nice flavor if you guys were gonna have ice cream abroad so citron is like lemon flavor and also oreo And this is the best flavor crisp you can ever get Lays, if you know you know anyways i'm gonna leave you guys here like and subscribe the next vlog is gonna be super exciting so stay tuned i'm going to the blue city see you in the next one bye